Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is your favorite ringside physician, Dr. Jared Vasquez. But before we start, remember to punch that like button, elbow that subscribe, and definitely rear naked choke that notification bell until it taps out. With that out of the way, let's talk about today's theme. We're gonna talk about Ben Askren and his brand new hip. Of course, I'm talking about this social media post that you're seeing on the screen right now. Ben Askren certified that he was officially a bionic man and he put an x-ray there. What, what are we seeing on the x-ray? Before we let you know what we saw on the x-ray, uh, Ben Askren uh, has been having a lot of nagging hip joint uh, problems. Uh, as a matter of fact, a couple months ago, uh, I was chatting with him on Twitter. Uh, of course, there were rumors. Uh, he, he went on Ariel Hawani's podcast uh, and you know, uh, pointed out that he, he's been having um, severe hip problems and he would have surgery uh, pretty soon. Uh, when I was chatting with him, he let, he let me know a little tidbit of information that he was going to have a Birmingham hip. And that's what we're seeing uh, that we saw on the x-ray in the picture that I just showed you guys. And what's the difference of a Birmingham hip and a total hip replacement? Well, let's talk about the problem that created the need for the hip. When you're using a joint, of course, there's going to be wear and tear. But wrestlers really wear and really tear at the hip joint. Everything is with hip they're always driving their workouts are definitely insane and ben would definitely agree uh, with this that's what creates a strong wrestler but in a lot of people that are prone to having um, arthritis problems and joint pro problems you wear and tear that cartilage and then you have to you start to have bone on bone interaction tremendous pain and limited mobility like we i think we kind of saw that in ben in his last fights uh, his mobility was definitely uh, very very apparent on the Demi and Maya fight. I don't know if Ben will will, uh, will kind of confirm this at some point, but it was he, he was moving uh, really, really different. Also, he was tired in that fight, but I think that uh, mobility uh, was a big issue. So we have a normal X-ray of the hip. What you guys are seeing there pointed by the arrows are nor is normal hip space. So that's the space between the head of the distal part of the leg of the thigh bone of the femur uh, and the socket inside the hip. That's an adequate space. Now let's change to a x-ray that shows a diminished space in that joint. It's easy, it's easy to spot. And this is what Ben uh, was suffering. Now, hip resurfacing versus total hip replacement. What are the difference? Well, for starters, um, partial hip replacement or the resurfacing that Ben had. Let's just pull up the picture again. You see that's a small cap. What you're seeing right there or radiolucent is uh, the metal. It's just a cap and you see the, the element of the hip joint replacement going into, into the, the, the bone already. Uh, it's not being cut away uh, like the total hip replacement. Let's just put one side by side. Let's just put that picture up. You see in this picture one side of the hip, you see how that element uh, for the total hip replacement shown by the arrow here, it goes all the way into the bone. Well, the big difference here is that the hip resurfacing is just putting a cap over the existing bone and it, it, it's putting a cap also into the, the acetabulum or the socket. It's a ball and joint socket. So what you're rep replacing or enhancing is the surface of that, of that joint, allowing for a better movement. The total hip replacement is taking a big part of that femoral bone away and that, and that um, there's more bone loss, there's more blood loss, there's more, um, you know, uh, there can be more blood clots. There's a lot of different um, complications that could arise, of course, with a total hip replacement. And what are the benefits of Ben on having a partial or resurfaced hip? Of course, um, recuperation time is shorter. As you guys saw on this video that I'm playing here over the video, um, Ben was walking four hours after the surgery. Uh, he kind of was, you know, you know, yanking on, on Sean O'Malley's chain is one of his kids, um, his Twitter kids, um, and that he was already on his feed. Uh, he's been giving Sean a hard, hard time after his Sean's um, and Cheeto's fight. He's been busting uh, Sean's balls uh, to, no, to no end. But the benefit here is a quicker rehab. Uh, the benefit here, of course, since you're not taking away the original ball and socket, you're just enhancing um, the function uh, by resurfacing. Of course, that hip will last longer. 
um, uh, that hip, there's less chance of that hip getting out of the socket and being um, uh, dysfunctional. Uh, and uh, of course, there's less bone loss. And I, th this surgery is made with minimal uh, injury to the patient. You don't have to cut into the muscle. You have a minimally invasive uh, surgery and you have a surgery that uh, this surgical wounds around four, uh, four inches in length is done through fluoroscopy. Uh, you don't have to hammer uh, that much into the bone. You're not cutting a huge part of the bone. So this is a, a quicker, um, a quicker hip resurface, quicker hip replacement uh, or a hip surgery. Uh, and, and definitely uh, it lasts longer. This could be just the end of Ben's, uh, Ben's problems. Will he be able to compete again? Uh, of course, that's a big question. There's a lot, there's two different schools of thought here. Um, in one side, uh, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, it goes against the joint. There are tremendous forces going with the joint. So it's not, I wouldn't say that I, I recommend that that happens. Uh, there's other uh, school of thought of uh, many sports physicians that say that a, a young athlete uh, can definitely get back to his sport. Um, I don't know what to think there. I think that, um, you know, Ben doesn't have to prove anything else. Uh, he has his a brand new lease in life with this hip joint for longer. Will he compete in MMA? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of feel that he is, but uh, I think he should. So there you have it, guys. Hope you liked the video. It's a simple explanation of what uh, Ben Askren uh, went through uh, for his surgery. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you for supporting the channel. We're almost to 3,250 uh, subs. Let's make it 5,000. Of course, there's always trolls putting out comments. Doctor, shave your head. Get to 10,000 10, subscribers and I'll shave it off. I'll give you the Rogan Spotify look. 10k subscribers so there you have it guys the the videos are here uh, a lot of playlist videos of uh, mma injuries remember that this is the only channel with an active ringside physician doing these injury videos with actual experience stepping foot inside an octagon and taking care of fighters so i appreciate the the people that are following me here thank you and uh, more to come